It's time for Orchard CMS. The Orchard Core framework was designed with modularity in mind. A modular design can be characterized by functional partitioning into discrete, scalable, and reusable components. Today, we will use the concept of modularity to build modular Orchard Core web applications. Welcome back. So let's get started by creating an Orchard Core modular application. Let's go ahead and bring up Visual Studio 2019. Okay, great. And let's go ahead and create a new project. Now let's go ahead and select ASP.NET Core Web Application. Hit Next. And for the project name, let's go ahead and select Orchard Core Modular MVC Web Application. Okay, let's go ahead and select Create. And for this application, let's go ahead and use Web Application. And we'll go ahead and select Create. And there we go. We have our first Orchard Core Modular MVC Web Application project here. So let's go ahead and create another application. Right click on the solution and select Add New Project. And let's select an ASP.NET Core Web Application. Click Next. And for the project name, let's go ahead and select Orchard Core Modular Empty Web Application. Select Create. And for this, we'll select the empty application and then create, hit the Create. Okay, now we have two applications. Let's add some more projects. Let's click on Solution, right click, and select Add New Project. And this time we're going to select a class library.NET Core and hit Next. And for the project name, we'll select Orchard Core Modular Library and hit Create. And let's add our last project. Right click on Solution, select Add, New Project. Let's select an ASP.NET Web Application. Select Next. And for the project name, let's go ahead and select Orchard Core Modular Web API and hit Create. And for this, we'll select the API, hit Create. And there we go, we have four different projects. We have an Orchard Core Modular Empty Web Application. We have an Orchard Core Modular Library. We have an Orchard Core Modular MVC Web Application. And finally, we have an Orchard Core Modular Web API. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and right click on Solution and add new item. And let's just select a text item and click on Add. And then let's go ahead and Let's rename this to nougat.config. And for the contents, let's go ahead and specify the Orchard Core preview feed. Okay, great. Okay, let's go ahead and restart Visual Studio so that the nougat.config will be loaded into Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and exit. Bring up Visual Studio again. All right, our solutions reloaded. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on the Orchard Core Modular Library. And let's set the output type to library. And let's also add an item group that specifies the Orchard Core Module Targets NuGet package. Okay, great. And let's also add a dot web. Okay, great. Now let's go to the startup.cs and let's add the appropriate usings, which are Microsoft of ASP Core.Builder, Microsoft ASP Net Core.http, and Microsoft ASP Net Core.Routing. Then we also want to add a configure method. Our endpoint map get will be slash modular library. And then we do a response.write async to output modular library. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and build the Orchard Core modular library. And there we go. Everything compiled and built successfully. Now let's head over to the Orchard Core modular empty web application. And there let's add an item group specifying the new git package, orchardcore.application.targets. Okay, great. Now let's head over to the startup.cs file and let's add services.addOrchardCore and also let's add app.useOrchardCore. All right, so now let's go ahead and save everything. Okay, let's go ahead and build the Orchard Core modular empty web application. 
And there you go, everything built successfully. So now let's just go ahead and run it and see if it runs. So let's click on the green play button and there you go we have Hello World being displayed from our empty application. That's great. Let's go ahead and exit the application. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead, right click on dependencies and add reference. And let's go ahead and add a reference to the Orchard Core modular library. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and rerun the application. There we go, it's so running. We have the Hello World. Okay, now let's go ahead and specify a slash modular library at the end of our URL. Enter that in. We've now integrated the Orchard Core modular library into the Orchard Core modular empty application. Now let's go back to the solution here. Go ahead and click on Orchard Core modular web API. And so let's go ahead and set the output type to library. And let's also add an item group specifying the Orchard Core NuGet package, orchardcore.module.targets. And let's save everything. Let's go ahead and build the Orchard Core modular web API. And there we go, it succeeded. Now let's go to the Orchard Core modular MVC web application. And let's go ahead and add an item group that specifies the Orchard Core NuGet package, which is orchardcore.application.mvc.targets. Now let's go to the startup.cs file. Now in the configure services method, let's go ahead and replace services.addRazor pages with services.addOrchardCore.addMVC. Then we can go ahead and get rid of this code, the app.use authorization, and also the app.use endpoint. And we can replace it with the app.use orchard core. So let's go ahead and save all our files. And let's go up here and do a build. Let's go ahead and build the orchard core modular MVC web application. And there we go. Everything built successfully. So let's go ahead and run this application. So let's go ahead and right click on it and set a startup project. And let's select Orchard Core Modular MVC Web Application and hit the green Start Play button. And there you go. There's our application running. That's great. So now let's add a reference. Let's go ahead and do a right click on Dependencies and do an Add Reference. And let's both add the library and Orchard Core Modular Web API and hit OK. And let's go ahead and run it. Great. Okay, now let's go ahead and try specifying a slash modular library. And voila, our modular library displayed. That's great. Now let's try the API with a slash weather forecast. And there you go. We can see our data. That's great. So now by using the Orchard Core Modular MVC web application and adding references to both the Orchard Core Modular library and the Orchard Core Modular web API, we can add those functionalities to our main application. To summarize, with the Orchard Core Modular framework, we were able to create modules that isolated our functionality. We created two web applications, a very simple Hello World application, and also a more complex model view controller web application. We created a simple Orchard Core modular library, and also a module with REST API functionality. With the Orchard Core modular framework, multiple teams can work on different sections of the application. The functionality can be isolated in modules. Modules can be created for reuse in applications. A module can contain static assets, scripts, images, middleware, authentication, and a user interface such as a dashboard. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.